Well, Nike made a shoe for the Cleveland Browns a year, two, three, four, five ago. Now this would even be possible. No one even buy the shoes. But now, because of Baker Jakes Mayfield and all the talent, they have someone on the team because of John Dorsey and Freddie Kitchens. Everybody wants a piece of Cleveland. The shoes, brown and orange. I'm going to buy them. They're $130 at Dick's Sporting Goods. I wish they came out with an high top one. <laughs> a high top one. I would buy them for sure. But everybody wants a piece of the Cleveland Browns right now. Remember, I've been a fan of the Browns since 79. I'll tell you how I started. I used to be a Redskins fan since 72 to 79. My faggot father took me to a Browns Redskins game, uh, 1979. And for some reason, the Redskins beat the Browns 13 and 9. And I don't know why I started watching the, I started rooting for the Cleveland Browns. Now, if I would have stayed with the club, put watching the Redskins, I'd have probably about three Super Bowls by now. Let's see. They beat the Bills. They beat the bloop, bloop, Dolphins and they beat the Raiders, I believe. Or maybe they got beat by the Raiders. I don't know. I don't give a shit. But I'm going to tell you something. I would have had a lot better goddamn fandom. But I'm glad I stuck my times and triumphs and tribulations to the Cleveland Browns because now the Cleveland Browns are about to do something special. The only thing they're going to do special is even better than the New England Patriots in the last 20 years. They're going to duplicate the run that the Patriots made, but even better. They're going to have seven titles in a 14-year span. It's going to be unbelievable. It's going to be Cleveland Brown, Cleveland Brown, Cleveland Brown, Cleveland Brown. It's going to be unfucking believable And during that time span, the Cleveland Browns are going to assemble a gargantuan amount of fans. Bigger than they have now, because the Browns have one of the biggest fan bases in America, believe it or not, even though they were terrible. The fans showed up in numbers. And they're going to be bigger and better than ever. And everybody's going to be a Browns fan. You're going to start getting sick of the Cleveland Browns. It's going to be crazy. But Baker J.X. Mayfield is one of the greatest quarterbacks I've ever seen in my life. He's an even kill. Smarter, more accurate, Brett Daniel Farr. And Baker J.X. Mayfield is going to be a superstar in this league that he already is. There's not a quarterback in the league I'd take over Baker Mayfield right now at this juncture. The only one I maybe would take if I had a choice would be Patrick WXL Mahomes, but I'd still take Baker over him. I think Baker's a better quarterback. I think Mahomes is a great quarterback. I think him and Mahomes are going to be 1A one, one and 1B one for the next 20 years, 15 to 18 years. But during that time span, the Browns are going to win seven Super Bowls, and the Chiefs only have one. You're going to see a lot of AFC title games, Mahomes, Mayfield, and it's going to be biblical. And I... I'm a true diehard Browns fan. I've seen all the losses. Believe it or not, everyone talks about the uh, Byron fumble. Let's call, <coughs> let's call a spade a spade. Even if Byron doesn't fumble the ball, Webster Slaughter holds his block like he's supposed to. Byron doesn't fumble, we score. Elway would have won the game. You can't blame Byron because he had like 10 catches for 170 yards plus 100 yards rush or whatever. Byron was the only reason we were in that game. We were down 21-3 at one point. The toughest loss in my Browns fan hood is the 24-7 lead we had against the Steelers at Heinz Field in 2003 playoffs. We had the game won, but Foch Fazio was told to go in and prevent defense. And it prevented us from winning. That was the toughest loss ever because we had that Steeler team defeated. Hope come through for 429 yards. We had them defeated at home in the playoffs. And to lose that game was worse than any playoff game we lost before. We had that game won. If Northcutt could have cut the simple fade, game over. But anyway... Times are changing. Cleveland is a destiny for greatness. Will I buy the shoes? Absolutely. And so will you.